Hi, we're here with Denise from Royal Caribbean. Hi. And we're talking about the new Allure of the Seas. Yes. The sister ship to Oasis. Our newest uh, addition to the Royal Caribbean family. Yes. We're very excited. Uh, she actually starts service on December 1st this year, so only a few weeks away. Uh, we're anxiously awaiting her arrival in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Very exciting. It is. Now, how does Allure differ from Oasis, which came out last year? Yes, um, Allure for the most part is identical to the Oasis, uh, with a few exceptions. We've got most of the changes in the boardwalk area. Um, on Oasis we have the um, seafood uh, shack, and that is actually going to be replaced by Rita's Cantina on uh, Allure of the Seas, which is actually a Mexican cantina, and complete with all the, uh, the menu items that you would imagine in a cantina, along with, of course, the best offerings of our margaritas. Um, some of the other changes in Boardwalk are going to actually be uh, in the Aqua Theater area. We've got 3D vision screens, so uh, we'll talk a little bit more about why they're going to be important in just a few minutes. But we will also have the Boardwalk Dog House, which is actually going to be a specialty hot dog stand, and that's actually included in the cruise fare. Um, and the other pieces that are going to be new on board will be our new show in the main theater, which is Chicago, the uh, award-winning um, Broadway musical, and that's going to actually be on, on the Lord of the Seas. And we also have uh, iPod docking stations in all the staterooms and a customer service kiosk on the Royal Promenade. Very nice. Now, you, with the new Allure, you're having a partnership with DreamWorks Animation. How is that going to work? Yes, we're really excited. Um, definitely solidifying our position in the family uh, sector of the cruise industry. Our uh, partnership with DreamWorks Animation is going to be really a very robust offering to our guests on board to enhance their experience. And it's not just for the families, but for those of us who love the movies uh, like Shrek and, of course, uh, Madagascar. We have actually a lot of different offerings. We will have um, Madagascar themed shows in the Aqua Theater. We're going to also have the uh, How to Train Your Dragon theme on the ice show in the ice rink on board. We're going to have characters in the parades as well as um, opportunities to do character meals. Uh, photo opportunities, our award winning children's program, Adventure Ocean, will be enhanced also with the characters and the offerings of DreamWorks Animation. And I mentioned before about those 3D screens in the Aqua Theater. We're going to actually have 3D films in the Aqua Theater and also films available in the staterooms on the interactive TV. So there's a lot coming. We're really excited. Amazing. Now, for those people who have not read or seen anything about Oasis, what are some of the unique features of the ship? I know there's a zip line, a carousel. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something to behold, an engineering feat, if you will. Um, I like to say that. Oasis and Allure of the Seas are really not a cruise, they're really an experience. Uh, they are very, very different from any other cruise ship uh, sailing the seven seas. And what's really wonderful is these ships just offer so much as far as dining and entertainment. Um, we have a concept of neighborhoods, if you will, and it's just our way of dividing the ship up into different areas. We've got um, Central Park, which is actually a living space on board the ship, uh, complete with trees that are in some cases up to 30 feet tall, um, takes on a wonderful atmosphere in the evening. We also have, of course, the boardwalk, we talked about that. We have the Royal Promenade, which is was introduced years ago on some of our other ships, our Voyager class and Freedom ships, but um, on Oasis it's a completely different area. We've got the Entertainment District, we've got, of course, the Children's Area, Adventure Ocean, with almost 29,000 square feet dedicated to the kids. So. Uh, this concept of having these neighborhoods allows for a very large ship to have a wonderful flow and you never feel as if you're with thousands of other people. So it's really interesting. Fantastic. So now's the time to book your chance to sail on the Lord of the Seas. I will be going November 29th for two nights. So check back our web on our website and we will upload photos from the ship on that cruise. And Susie has also been on Oasis in the Seas if you want some first-hand feedback from that cruise. Yes, the, the ladies here at Travel House definitely are the experts on Allure and Oasis of the Seas, having uh, been able to experience it with us down in, in Florida. So we're really looking forward to welcoming you on board. I'm very and, excited. And uh, <laughs> I know you're going to be just as excited about it as we are. Yes. So thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, Denise.